The filly's name is Kinane, and she's running in the Queen Mary Stakes on Wednesday at Ascot. When we saw this filly uh, at Keeneland September Sales, uh, we really, I really had a feeling that I was looking at a horse that was very similar to the types that my ex-boss, Jeremy Nazida, went to America and purchased with a view to races like the Cheveley Park and the, the Queen Mary. So it was always in the back of my mind and a little bit of a plan that maybe she could turn out to be a Royal Ascot filly if she was precocious enough and if she was fast enough to win on debut. So fast forward to five weeks ago at Belmont and, and she crossed the line first Then the dream was really in motion then. She's owned by three ownership groups, all who have horses with me independently. Uh, the majority partner of the Pileski family, Greg and Kath, um, and then West Paces Racing, who are a group of, of gentlemen from Georgia. They are regular Royal Ascot attendees anyway, so this is extremely exciting for them to actually have a horse that's taking part. Um, and then Rainbows End Racing, um, Bob Scavetta and Mike Ioncone, who have set up a, a wonderful, quite local syndicate uh, to New York um, and have been long-time supporters of, of us as well. She's um, actually taken the journey way better than I have, to be perfectly honest. I was absolutely amazed when I saw the video of her getting off the box here. She had a very long trip at the end of the day. She left Belmont uh, last Saturday, really took the, the whole thing very, very well indeed. She's arrived in fantastic condition, very hydrated, um, and she's eaten fabulously since she got here. So those are some major hurdles for a young filly to, to try and overcome, and she seems to have taken everything in her stride. She's got a wonderful mental outlook on life, this filly, and so it's, you, know, you have to have the, the right horse with the right temperament to try this and we've always believed that she had the right mind to, to take a trip in like this. Obviously plenty of our, our, my family has been involved in racing in the UK. Um, Christopher Spence, who's married to my aunt Sue, was the senior steward of the jockey club, and my uncle David trained both uh, grade one winners over fences and group one winners on the flat as well, here in Newmarket, based in High Havens. My father owned and bred horses all his life and rode in some point to point, so it's something that genuinely is in my blood. Um, Godolphin Flying Start graduate and then came to Newmarket to work for Jeremy Nazida for four and a half years and then on his advice and my father's advice to go um, to America for 18 months work experience to see how it was done there and I've been there for 13 years. You know, the business has grown. I have a wife and two wonderful children out there, so I'm not coming home anytime soon. So we have about 50 in at any one time and, and all at Belmont Park. Uh, in the winters we send horses down to New Orleans to the fairgrounds to take advantage of their turf racing and then obviously during Saratoga we split the horses up between Saratoga and Belmont. But we leave the vast majority of them at Belmont and ship up to run at Saratoga and then send them home again. Uh, we've got a beautiful setup at Belmont, lovely amount of grazing and round pens and it's, it's a real base for us so we feel, feel the horses do better running out of there than having to ship around too much to run. Yeah, I mean, this is a dream. This is, this is what you start training to do. Um, you want to dance the big dances. You, you know, this is a, a huge opportunity for us to showcase what we can do and hopefully she can showcase what she, do, she can do because she's a very fast filly and she's the one who's, who's got us here. Um, and and it's, you know, it's a huge privilege to take part in Royal Ascot, but we didn't come just to take part. We're hoping to see a big performance from her. A win at Royal Ascot would mean the world to uh, me, my family, my business. Uh, it would be a big, a big boost to all of us. Uh, you know, this is one of the absolute pinnacle meetings around the world every year. You look at the Dubai World Cup and we look at Travers Day and Kentucky Derby Breeders' Cup and Japan Cup. This is England's premier meet. Um, and so to win a race here would be absolutely enormous. Um, I'm not sure that I could actually take in what it would mean to win, but we're just looking for a, for a really big performance from our filly.